right, five minutes after 9 o'clock. Beautiful looking Thursday morning. 58 degrees, by the way, here at the studios. And it's time for Veterans News. Hank Whittier is not here from Vets Helping Vets. Gary Pascal sitting in the captain's seat. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, veterans, and good morning, listeners. Um, I'll be filling in for Hank this morning. You know, Larry, it was so beautiful this morning. I wanted to go fishing instead of going to work. But, <laughs> yeah, but, I'm, but I'm here, so praise the Lord. <laughs> um, we do have some casualties we got to talk about before we get started with the show. Um, we have a firefighter casualty notification. Uh, Christopher Gene Ray, uh, firefighter second class. Uh, his date of death was March 20th of 2016, and he was with the Conway Fire Rescue in Conway, South Carolina. And we have um, an officer down. We have Trooper Thomas Clarity of the Massachusetts State Police in Massachusetts. His end of war watch was March 16th of 2016. Uh, Trooper Clarity died from injuries sustained in a vehicle collision on Interstate 90. And then we have another law enforcement casualty. We have Deputy Sheriff Carl A. Kuntz of the Howard County Sheriff's Office of Howard County, Indiana. His end of watch was March 20th of 2016. Um, Deputy Kuntz was shot and killed as he and other deputies served arrest warrants um, in connection with a narcotics case. And we do have a Department of Defense casualty also. It's from uh, the United States Marine Corps. And it's Staff Sergeant Louis F. Cardin of Talamooka, California. He died on March, 10th, March 19th in northern Iraq from wounds suffered while the enemy attacked his unit with rocket fire. Um, we wish God's peace and God's blessings on the families of these folks, and uh, we look forward to the day, uh, Larry, when we don't have casualties to announce. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yeah, um, we want to thank our sponsors. We got a good show for you this morning. We got a very special guest, Dr. Harper. Um, but we want to thank uh, WOCA Radio because without WOCA, uh, we couldn't have Veterans News Hour every Thursday. So thank you, WOCA. And we want to thank the fine folks at Bob Wine's Community Garden and Nursery. When I got in my vehicle this morning, they were the first people I thought of because I thought this would be a great day to get out there and plant some azaleas. When it comes to your landscaping needs, Bob Wine's has what you need. Everything from small plants to large trees, mulch, fertilizer, and much more. Bob Wines will deliver, they'll plant your trees, and they'll guarantee them. Bob Wines Camellia Garden and Nursery has been keeping things blooming in Ocala since 1952. And when you visit Bob Wines, which is located at 2610 Southeast 38th Street in our own beautiful Ocala, and you tell them that you're a veteran and you heard about them on WOCA, you get a 10% discount. You just can't beat a deal like that. So get down to Bob Wines, and um, while the weather's good, let's get out there and get them yards looking good. Um, I'd like to introduce a, a fine guest here, Dr. Harper. Um, 
Dr. Harper's a dentist, and he held a really good fundraiser for us last year that uh, that helped vets help and vets immensely. Um, uh, Dr. Harper, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? And My name is uh, Dr. Wayne Harper. I've been in Ocala for over 30 years. And for about the last 16 or 18 years, we've participated in a program called Smiles for Life. Um, Smiles for Life started through an organization called the Crown Council. Um, all of the proceeds are donated to charities, mostly children's charities. Um, until the last few years, 100% was going to children's charities, but recently they allowed us to pick some local charities. And uh, last year we picked uh, Vets Helping Vets. Uh, Don Harrison was a patient of mine. I know we all miss him. And um, we donated about half of the proceeds go to Vets Helping Vets. Last year we donated about over three thousand dollars i know it was thirty three hundred dollars or wow. something like that and it was welcome and 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 surely needed yeah um the campaign uh, smiles for life's raised over 36 million dollars for uh, ill disabled and disadvantaged kids that's about two million dollars a year wow. it's pretty pretty impressive and um my little office in ocala has raised over two hundred and forty thousand wow. dollars thanks to the residents of marion county my patients and uh, people like that. And you don't have to be a patient. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Patient comes in, we examine their teeth at no charge. Um, we take an impression, we make fabricate some custom fabricated trays and dispense the bleaching whitening solution and away you go. It's pretty easy, it's painless. And as I said, all the money goes to charity. The uh, administrative fees are underwritten, believe it or not, by Garth Brooks. Uh, he has a foundation huh. and I think the administrative costs in, the, in charity are 0.5%, which is unheard of well, yeah, for really. any kind of charity. Um, there's a organization, there's a, a dental company called Ultradent that donates all the whitening materials and the individual offices uh, around the country donate our time and our supplies for making impressions. I don't know if anyone else in Marion County does this. Um, there used to be a few other dentists that were doing it. I think they've kind of dropped off over the years. So I believe my office is the only one doing it these days. Um, and our office number is 352-867-7181. Anybody wants to call and make a donation that goes to a good cause, we would love to have you. That's awesome. That's really good. And, you know, we really appreciate uh, dentists that help us. Um, we have a dentist that once a year, uh, Dr. Uh, Bone Steel, that uh, helps us out on Veterans Day and, you know, and, and does needy veterans. Um, dental care is important. And, um, you know, I used to be scared to death of dentists, but now that I got to know a few of them personally, most of them, like Dr. Harper, are really good guys. So you, you, don't, you don't have nothing to fear about um, Your teeth look going great. to the dentist. Your teeth look great. Yeah, well, they they come out at night though like stars. But, uh, <laughs> but I tell you, you know, talk about whitening. When I picked these out, you know, um, my dentist, you know, he showed me some teeth I didn't like too much, you know, and I said I want a set of teeth just like Jimmy Carter, and uh, <laughs> that's why they look so white because I got the ones modeled after his. But uh, no, they're they're great, and um, you know, Doctor Harper's great, and. Vets Help Invest has got a lot of things going on, and we really appreciate it. You know, um, we've talked quite a bit about the Veterans Resource Center, and every day it becomes closer to a reality. And when you see that Hank's not here on the show, that's usually where he is um, making this reality uh, come true. He's meeting with people. We've seen um, some uh, architect renderings yesterday of the... Uh, new facility it's it's going to be great um and it's going to get better and um we got a break for a while yes sir yes, this would be a good time to break and then we'll come back and talk about the center for a while all right we'll be right back Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Some sunshine on this Thursday with a shower or thunderstorm in the area this afternoon, high 81 to 85. Thursday night will be mostly cloudy with a shower or thunderstorm, low 65 to 69. On Good Friday, clouds and breaks of sun with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm around, especially in the afternoon at the coast, the high 81 to 85. Saturday, mostly cloudy with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm, high 79 to 83. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Bundy. 
Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Hey folks, take a listen to the exciting new spring things happening at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens in Ocala. I'm talking roses. Roses everywhere. Roses galore. And yes, gorgeous roses that smell good. Bob Wines has just received a truckload of roses, double knockouts, drift roses, hybrid tea and climber roses. Even those fantastic rose trees, they're all here, all new and fresh, all spring sale price starting as low as $12.95. Dwarf, ever-blooming, red ruffle azaleas, not five five or six dollars, just two ninety nine. Heirloom camellias, just fourteen ninety nine. Just in a huge selection of pottery and unique planters. Be sure to check out those big blue feet. Look for the bright yellow sales tags everywhere, all over this five and a half acres. Bob Wines Camellia Gardens, just minutes from anywhere, including the villages on the southeast side of Ocala. Daily till four, Saturdays till three. Homegrown, locally owned since 1952. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. When it really counts, depend on the source for the latest weather updates, keeping you ahead of the storm. 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. Hi, I'm Fran Darkington. When I need news, I pass the rest and tune to The Source. W-O-C-A. 18 minutes after 9 o'clock, let's return to Veterans News. 58 degrees, by the way, Gary. 58 degrees 58 and beautiful. Degrees. This is really good fishing weather. <laughs> but we want to remind everybody, we only got two more shows before the big event, Larry. The big boxing event. The big boxing event. Um, Dr. Harper's just hearing about it for the first time. Oh, he might need um, to you know, replace a few he's teeth. He's going to be want to be anxious to get out there and see uh, Hammer and Hank go against uh, Kathy Bryant there. Um, that, that, that's going to be a big battle. But the highlight of the night, okay, is uh, Sheriff Blair. He's going to be fighting uh, Baby Cakes Burke. And Baby Cakes Burke is supposedly, uh, I, I hear from Mr. Sampson, a mixed martial arts guy, and, and he's a pretty big dude, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I know the sheriff can handle himself. And um, seeing as we're a Marion County resident, Sheriff, I know if you're listening, we'll be rooting for you, sir. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> And then, um, you know, my good friend, uh, the district attorney, uh, or the state's attorney, Peter Brigham, he's going to be fighting my other good friend, Anthony James. Now, that's going to be hard, you know, but I think um, yeah. m- Mr. Brigham uh, is, 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 is built on a whole lot smaller frame. Um, I think Mr. James, uh, you know, he's a big guy. So that's going to be very interesting. Mm-hmm. And uh, David Moore, you know, he's been on the show. Uh, yeah, he's u- u- usually uh, very quiet and meek, uh, but he's going to be fighting, so that that's going to be interesting to see. And uh, he's going to be fighting an amateur fighter. And uh, you know, uh, we got we got some great judges out there. You know, Chief Graham, Kelly King, Tito Acasio, uh, Parnell Townley, uh, Haas Cartwright, and and George Albright. So you know, Haas Cartwright. Yeah, Haas Cartwright, not, not, not the big Haas Cartwright, <laughs> <laughs> but the local Haas Cartwright. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, actually, his first name is Tom, but but he goes by <laughs> by Haas. But it's going to be interesting, you know. And uh, tickets will be available at the door. They're ten dollars. That's April first at six p.m. Get there early and and get a good seat. And uh, you know, get to shake Hank's hand before he goes in the ring because he may be a little bit too shaky to shake it afterwards. But don't tell him I said <laughs> that, you know. Um, and if he's listening, now nobody's going to get hurt. It's going to be a good night of fun. There's going to be prizes and door prizes. And uh, 
you know, uh, it's just going to be a, a good night to get together, you know, bring the family, you know, bring the kids. It's it's not going to be no kind of bloody mess or, or nothing like that. So everybody's just going to have a good time. And we're going to raise a lot of money for Vets Helping Vets and our Broken Wing program, which mentors veterans uh, with children, especially the younger veterans, you know, the, the Iraqi, uh, Afghanistan type veterans um a lot of us old vietnam era veterans and stuff you know getting a little too old to be hanging around with the kids but uh we got these younger guys that need it and it helps both um and again you know we're working on this new veteran center and that, that's why hank's not here right now and it's going to be a great thing for a veteran just to come in one place and not get routed around and if it wasn't for people you know like dr harper and these veterans agencies and a lot of these private donations that that come in and we want to thank everybody you know for thinking of us and since we started this center you know we've really had a big increase um the ladies at trinity lutheran church down in summerfield they donated us a very very nice check yesterday and we want to thank them and wish them God's blessings. I got to also speak this week at Temple Shalom down in the villages and um, they have a veterans group down there and they were anxious about what we're doing up up here in Ocala. Uh, I met some new friends uh, in the veterans group at Oak Run. They were real interested in the things that's going on up here. So word is getting out and um, this is a big veteran community. Um, doctor, a lot of the patients you see veterans? I see lots of vets in the, in the community um, and some of them as Gary has said they really do need some help. Um, I have a son who is uh, active duty military right now, and I've seen firsthand what it can, you know, what war can do to our vets. And you know, he's certainly a victim of PTSD. He's been blown hmm. up a couple times. And, oh man! And uh, but he's done really well. And, and I was telling Gary, he's he's uh, stationed at the Pentagon right now, and very proud of that young man. He's uh, doing a congressional fellowship. Starts in May, and he was promoted to major this week. Nice. So he's uh, he's a great young man, and uh, but I've seen he was a uh, he was deployed with a special forces unit, and uh, I've seen firsthand what the PTSD can do to, to some of our vets. Wow, you should be <clears throat> proud. I am proud. I am proud. But uh, the vets do need a lot of a lot of help, and we try to help them in our office whenever we can. Good bunch of guys for sure. They sure are, and, and you know, like like we were talking earlier uh, off the air, you know, dental care, you know, is expensive, but it is important, and um, you know, uh, for for the great folks like you know Dr. Harper and, and Dr. Bone Steel that that help, and uh, and 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 we have this new thing now in Marion County. You might want to check into. It's the Marion County Health Care Alliance, and they do have a website, so you can visit them. Uh, there's a lot of great people on there, and their goal is to to find ways to help people that need dental work, uh, to help people that need uh, assistance with controlling things like diabetes and other other health issues, and uh, also with mental health issues. Um, and you know, dentistry is kind of a very weak area in the VA because there's very few people that actually are entitled to dental work. Um, now, if you're in a grant per diem program, that's an exception, and you get dental work while you're in there. If you're service connected um, you get uh, dental work usually if the service connection is something to do with things that have to do with dental but uh, but other than that um, if, if it wasn't for um, you know dentists that would get out there and actually help these vets you know they, they wouldn't have uh, anything and dental care is important you know um, I know for a long time and I can tell you this Dr. Harper I was ashamed to smile and it affected my whole personality. Now, you know, um, that, that I can smile, you know what I mean? I, I feel a whole lot different. You know, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it affects a whole lot area. So, and, you know, the whitening thing you were talking about that raises this money, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that kind of boosts people's ego a little bit too, doesn't it? Yeah, you really create some self-esteem in people, and it's really nice to be able to see that. And um, some people have pretty nice teeth and they're healthy, but maybe they're just discolored and yellow from coffee, wine, just stains over the years. And the whitening is a very, very cost-effective way to whiten someone's teeth. We charge $199, which is uh, less than half of our normal fee for whitening. Wow, wow. And um, again, as I said, the money is all donated to charity, um, mostly children's charities, um, but with our local charity here in the past years has been Interfaith. Um, but the last few years we've done Vets Helping Vets. We're really happy and honored to be able to do that for them. Yeah, and, and it's been 
and it's been a blessing to us, and, and we definitely put it to good use. You know, um, when you give to vets help and vets, that money goes right to the vets. We don't have a whole lot of administrative costs right now. You know, we work out of a storage facility. Um, you know, that, that keeps the prices of things down. But once we get in this great facility from the county, um, uh, you know, the county's given us a you know a, a great deal on there. So you know, we won't have a whole lot of costs with that either. But we'll be able to help the veterans and and and, and to educate them more on you know things like dental work and mental health and these other things that need addressing in the county so we're, we're glad to have it where's the facility going to be located it's going to be in the old bowling alley and the beautiful thing about that is the old bowling alley sits right next to the veterans park the county veterans office is going to be in there with us you know several other veterans agencies um we haven't uh, hank hasn't made decisions yet on you know all of them but uh, you know he's working on that now but it's definitely going to be a one-stop when you get off that bus or you get out of that car in the parking lot and you go into that center most anything you need if you're a veteran will be right there you don't have to be routed from place to place you might have to go from office to office but that's a whole lot easier than getting back yeah. on the bus or getting yeah. back in the car and and going there um doctor when they, we talk about the whitening um i notice on television they advertise a lot of stuff that you know you, you could do yourself is it is that good or bad for people that's a pretty good question um you know there's some over-the-counter things that actually work fairly effectively the white strips by crest actually work fairly well um they're a little messy um, but some of these things that you see on TV that you painted on your teeth and that they whiten crowns and veneers and that's, that's no, it's pretty hokey. Uh, you know, I've been a dentist for over 30 years, and if it was out there, I'd be doing it. I'm yeah. pretty progressive in my practice, and um, it's it's a ploy to get some there's money. A, and there's a thing I've seen. It's I saw this in the big box store, and it says white one price whiter a little bit higher price and whitest a higher price and i thought well why would anybody not get whitest you would whitest. think if you were going to get one of them it would be the one because it wasn't that much money for even for the whitest yeah uh again i don't know what they do in the big box stores <laughs> <laughs> um you know you're really better off having it done professionally where it's uh custom made for your own teeth and um you have less problems and less sensitivity and, and things like that yeah. Um, and again, I, we've been whitening teeth for over 20 years, and um, we have good results. And you know, uh, again, I, I don't know what they do in these places. Right. I actually heard an ad on the way in this morning for uh, paint on smiles, and they said you can paint this stuff on your teeth and your crowns, and it whitens them. And s sorry, I don't think anything like that works. Don't I, that, I don't huh? buy that. <laughs> Good questions, though. And another thing, you know, if you if you actually visit a dentist or somebody, if there's something else wrong, you know, the dentist will spot it. You know, right, uh, right. that's you know, it's like like regular health care. You know, um, going going to a dentist regularly is is important yeah. also. We do examine the teeth. We want to make sure there's no active decay or active periodontal disease or anything like that as well, because um, that's kind of contraindicated at that point. Uh, the whitening solutions are pretty innocuous. They're not caustic. Um, they're approved by the federal drug administration i'm sure i'm sure and uh, but we want to make sure that's safe for the patients too how yeah, how are we doing on time one minute, one, minute. one minute um do doctor could you uh, go ahead and give that phone number and, and stuff again that's uh, yeah it's um it's the smiles for life campaign it runs from march 1st through june 30th um my office number is 352 and uh, you do not have to be a patient of ours to participate. Uh, everybody's welcome. And if you just call the office and speak to either Karen or Mary Ann, 352-861-7181. Uh, and if people are looking for a dentist, you're out there too, right? Sure, sure so thing. We, we love new we'll patients. We'll give you that plug because we know you love veterans. Well, um, Hank's not here to say it, but uh, we want to sign off with Kate Smith. And God bless America. Radio. I'm Lillian Wu, an emergency summit taking place in Brussels.